Gentleman Island, Mr. Greeson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, House Joint Resolution 614 is a proposed amendment to the Constitution of Virginia relating to state aid for religious and theolo theological studies education for military chaplains. And let me explain this bill for just a second. Last year, the Chaplains Corps of the National Guard came to me and said that they had a shortage of na National Guard chaplains. Um, essentially, they were contending that it was because of the high cost associated with receiving a divinity, a divinity degree and that they were looking for an offset from the state in tuition assistance. I questioned them on their rationale and said, tell me a little bit more. Apparently, the Constitution says that a National Guard soldier can receive tuition assistance for any subject except theology and religious studies. A year into this process, I have learned from many opponents that several are afraid that we will be mingling church and state. And by using state money to pay for the education of our chaplains, we could be causing a constitutional problem. Here's my problem with that. We currently use state money to pay the chaplains to do a good job in serving our units deployed and at home. If we use state money to pay the National Guard chaplains, why wouldn't we use state money to train them and educate them appropriately to do a good job? That's the conflict that this resolution is addressing. It's very narrowly defined, and I have many assurances from the Attorney General's office that House Joy's resolution will address this for the National Guard only. And as you see in the language of the bill, it will only apply to those that have been approved for chaplaincy in the National Guard. Mr. Speaker, I move that the resolution be adopted.